Hey everyone, it's Mark Skipper Mark. Today we are going to be replacing the transmission fluid on our 2013 Honda Fit. A couple things when you do this. First, Honda does not um, approve of the use of any kind of flushing machine. What they want you to do is drain the transmission fluid in the pan, replace with new fluid, and do that three times, driving 100 miles in between each time you drain the fluid. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to drain the fluid and replace it with um, new transmission fluid today and then we'll drive 100 miles and we'll do it again in a couple weeks when we've driven 100 miles. If you have any questions about this, um, hopefully this video will explain how to do it. Um, if not, please leave a message in the comments and we'll be glad to answer them and answer any questions that you may have. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. In the old days, maintenance was generally performed at certain levels, like every 3,000 miles you'd do an oil change. But when we bought our Honda Fit, the dealer told us not to do that. They said the computer would give us a code that indicated what needed to be done. The code for this period was B123, which was rotate the tires, change the oil and oil filter, replace the air and cabin filter, and replace the transmission fluid. Because the engine in a Honda Fit is mounted sideways, the drain plug for the transmission is right in the front of the vehicle. And wipe. Most transmission drain plugs have a magnet on them that catches any metal that might be floating around inside the pan. Many shops don't do it, but Matt always torques everything to the proper specs. The capacity of the pan is 2.6 quarts, which is how much should have come out, but 4 quarts actually came out, which means it was overfilled. We've never changed it before, so we're not actually sure how that happened. At Matt's shop, all the mechanics say it's best to use genuine Honda transmission fluid in a Honda, so that's what we ended up getting. We didn't have a funnel long enough to reach the fill hole, so Matt's going to use this fluid pump. Unfortunately, it's too fat to fit in the bottle, so we ended up pouring it into a new plastic container. It was kind of awkward, but it ended up working. So we put in about two and a half quarts, and the level says that it's about a half a quart low, but we want to check the level according to how Honda says we need to do it before we add any additional. The technique is a little unusual. In the old days you just let the engine warm up and then check the level. But according to Honda, you have to let the engine run until the fans come on. As soon as they do, you shut off the car and wait 60 seconds and then you have 30 seconds to check the level. The weather is kind of cool and cloudy today and it's taking forever for the car to warm up. We've been standing around for like 20 minutes and the fans still haven't come on yet. Finally, the fans are on and we're checking the level. So the level is exactly the same as it was when we checked it cold. It's down about a half a quart, so we're going to add in the rest of the bottle. A little bit leaked out when we were filling it. So Matt's rinsing that off, and we're going to call the job done. Hey everyone, thank you for watching. I hope this answered any questions you may have had about changing the transmission fluid in a 2013 Honda Fit. If it didn't answer your questions and you have any, please leave a message in the comments and we'll be glad to answer them. Thank you again and have a great day. Thanks for watching.